Hey guys, this is Mike Sorg for Basic Sorgonomics, and this is going to be for, what day is it? It's it's the 22nd, Friday the 22nd of May, if I have that appropriate. This is a, a evening, evening Sorgatron, actually. Uh, we're doing this again, because I don't know when to quit, and we'll get into that hopefully a little bit here, but please uh, uh, support us, check things out. Uh, the creative newsletter, which I realize will be late tomorrow, today, uh, over at Sorgatron.com. And uh, and uh, all that kind of jazz. Please sign up for that. We're having a lot of fun, and we're, we're have classes coming up. Evening with PodCamp next week. You can check out information for that at podcamppittsburgh.com. And big news: we're going to be talking with Chris O'Connor for Libsyn, and we talked about Spotify on yesterday's episode. Thank you, everybody that that uh, responded to that. Apparently, that was a pretty big issue, uh, and uh, including Libsyn getting involved in the conversation. Epicast, uh, Doug over there, and I know I'm forgetting other people, but thank you everybody for contributing on that. But uh, so today I wanted to talk about obligation. Uh, it's kind of what is obligation uh, uh, for me? You know, I, I, hey, I'm doing my Friday podcast when I said I wasn't going to. I actually flip flopped a lot this week on whether I was going to do this or not. But uh, but a, a little bit of the prodding uh, through some of you guys out there uh, and and uh, the great feedback today made me say, man, I got to do this. I love doing it. I can't leave. I can't. I, I said I'm going to put out for a week, and we're going to do that. And uh, we can let go of the mayhems and stuff. But again, that's what is my obligation? Why do I think most podcasters fail? And that success line can be a very interesting, you know, moving target. You know, I, I, I can't. If you're here to make money, well, who's who's a successful person unless you're Mark Marin or somebody, right? But... Uh, and after listening to even uh, podcasters group therapy this week talking about stats and realizing kind of expectations of that and uh, where am I setting things, you know, uh, I like to drop the numbers and see people's reactions because I have no base for those kinds of things. But uh, and then I hear somebody else's stats and I just drop my head. I was like, oh, I'm not that near that. How, how, how can I do that? <laughs> But anyways, that's not that, that's going to be a whole other conversation. But uh, no obligation. So I, I I think I think what makes this work is the ob- you feel an obligation to do it. I'm talking about podcasting, and this can apply to that thing that you want to do, that motivational thing you want to do, that creative thing you want to do. Um, you know, we had a weekly challenge recently where I said try a new social media thing today. You know, and if I say I'm going to become a vine guy, I'm going to make a vine every day. I'm going to make a really good vine once a week. I'm going to do that. That's my obligation. Maybe you don't have followers yet because then it would be an obligation to them. It's a little easier to shame yourself into doing it because you are answering to somebody. All those eyeballs, all those 200 subscribers, all those two subscribers. Somebody's out there expecting it. It helps with the Wrestling Mayhem show. When I'm like, oh, I can't go to bed. I really need to go to bed. I can, I can wait till the morning. I can do this. I can do this. And then the one time that I miss putting it up in the morning and just wait until like mid-morning to put that up, I get that DM from somebody I know. It says, hey, man, where's the show? There's a lot more people thinking that that didn't message me. But before you get to that, before you get to that, what's your obligation? When I'm starting a new show, when I started this show, as I've mentioned several times, it was an obligation to myself. says, you're going to get your ass out of bed early. Because you stopped doing that. Because motivation was dropping. Things weren't going too well. And you're going to go make a podcast. Because that's what you want to do. So do it. No excuses. I do a podcast every day of... I'm up to six days a week doing a podcast in some form. Whether it be for a client, whether it be for myself, whether it be for some friends. Because that's what I want to do. Or some version of that. Whatever. I want to make things. And this is the way I like to make things. And that is my obligation to myself. Nobody's listening to that thing on Saturday that we have three episodes. Okay. I lie. There's at least like ten people listening to that thing. Because <laughs> they are all voting on that poll over at Wrestling Mayhem Show. That thing is the power hour, of course, I'm doing with Will on Saturday mornings, which I'm also thinking, how am I going to do that this week because of what I, I scheduled? But that's part of the challenge. 
You might get that on Sunday this week, guys. Anyways, um, so what's my obligation to do this show? Why am I sitting here? Is it after 10 o'clock? Oh, yeah, it's after 10 o'clock. Why am I going to go ahead and do this when I'm going to have to get up at pretty early and go out to Greensburg and uh, do a conference for a day? And I agreed to go film something tomorrow night, too. And I said we're going to go do this thing and cover this event on Saturday. And I hope I get back so I can at least catch, catch some of the streaming of TEDx Pittsburgh. Why, but why am I doing this right now? Because I feel obligated to. Because I want it to be a four-day-a-week thing. I want to have something there for you guys. That's weird have something there for you guys to listen to me talk to you. no no that's not that's a way weird way to phrase that but no i i uh, had a conversation recently of why don't i cut certain projects that you know they're just you know not, you know they're just we're making podcasts and make podcasts in some of these cases and every time and i'm trying to manage these personal expectations is well because it's this thing i told myself i was going to do it's a show that we were going to do. It's a project I said I was going to do, even though it's not maybe towards the ultimate goal. Yeah, that's something I have to work on. And that's what I'm managing. I feel obligated to do this show because this is the thing that's working. And this is the thing that I don't want to lax on. You miss one show. Ah, huh? you're, you're getting busy. You know, you're, you're getting that. Well, what happens when I get busier? Do all these shows go away? And I'm starting that list. If I get a certain level of busy, what does go away? I've earmarked a couple of them. It's like, mm, well, we're not going to do that anymore. Maybe one of the other guys will do that one. No, we're not going to do that anymore. Maybe one of those guys will do that. Ooh, maybe I don't have to do those things for that show that that other person is doing that I'm helping with. Maybe I can start uh, leading the horse to water and have them do something with that. And kind of motivating that plate. Because in my mind, I want this to be something of an incubator look at how much those guys are making that that work with us on wrestling mayhem show after all these years uh you got will doing tremendous things with pan riot one of my favorite podcast about comic books i guess i don't listen to too many but still doing a great tremendous job on there after 30 episodes hope it keeps going the guys doing shows probably as i speak talking about nxt and they're going to do a Mayhem watch party that, as I speak, you know, probably, that is that have been tremendous. Big hits on YouTube for us. Those are the things taken off on YouTube. Getting retweeted by the writers of the shows on Twitter. So, take a look at what you're doing. Are you obligated because you're, are you obligated because it's your job? Because it's your client? And it's such a handcuffing word obligation. It really is. Because you think it, it's that uh, hole of, okay, I get this job that I hate, but I got to get it anyways. I can get money so I can pay the mortgage and take care of the kid. Da, 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 da. And such a trap. Now I don't have an answer for that trap. That's something else. It's a Merlin Man Back to Work episode or something. There's been a lot of really good ones there, by the way. Uh, really good ones there about uh, kind of mindfulness, actually. Very helpful. But what are your obligations? You have fun obligations? It's hard to put obligation as a word, as a concept, on something that you do find fun and want to do for fun. But if you're really into that thing, and it's more than just a hobby. Maybe you can treat it like a job. It'll be a fun job, but it's still a job. Just like Cypress Hill said that one time. Let me know what you think. My evening rantings. I'll be watching the Twitter during the conference tomorrow. Well, officially for the company, but, you know, I'll see them. At Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for everything. And thank you. We'll see you guys next week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. 
Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.